What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Journeyman series in FM23. With our first club here, Banbridge Town, so far with the transfers, we have brought in one man in McCartan, uh, just on the free transfer there. Uh, he is like a new gen that gets added at the start of the game. I was pretty happy with him. Uh, I was disappointed, believe it or not. Uh, there was a player we were hunting. Unfortunately, he decided to join another team. Uh, one of many, uh, one of many, but I thought I'll show you him. Uh, he he looks he looks good, and for a guy that I think, oh, I'm disappointed, and I settled for someone else. He still has a lot of weaknesses in his game, but this is the level of football we're at. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. But yeah, he's got that potential. I think he could be something. I wouldn't say special, but maybe for this level anyway, uh, in Northern Ireland. But I think. We got to be content. There was some other, yeah, some other options as well. But we'll go back. Uh, I think in McCartan, uh, being a left midfielder, I think we can train him on the right side as well because he is right-footed. That will be that just handy because we, you'll see we need that depth as well. But uh, yeah, picking up a fifteen-year-old just like that, I think yeah, like a new regem uh, this time of the year. It's like at the start of the season. Generally, you don't you don't get too many. Generally, their potentials and their ability is nothing too special. So uh, for him to come in and be first team, uh, I think that was a pretty good find for us. And what I will show you now is the yeah, overall balance, Like and even with the wage budget, we, we basically cannot make another signing. Uh, we touched on that in the first episode when we got the job. Uh, yeah, we probably cannot make too many moves. We wouldn't be looking to anyway because of that. Uh, so I think we can settle on that. Look, we're losing money already. So yeah, you don't want to be spending too much more, uh, even though we probably couldn't with that available wage budget. We can't we can't make an offer that a player would accept. Uh, so we'll give you guys a look at the preseason, which was uh, a pretty solid one. As you can see, no defeats, majority of wins there. And yeah, we're gonna have our first game against uh, who's this distillery? Distillery uh, in the in the cup. That is the Bet McLean Cup versus round. Once more, we know we don't have the highest of expectations. Uh, if you take a look at them here, generally it's it's mostly the requirement uh, of just avoiding relegation in the league, uh, which is very important. To give a, a comparison as well. Um, before we do that, uh, Rui Alves was actually one player. He was in the under-18s for whatever reason. I don't know. He's 24. So I've no idea why he was there. But uh, anyway, if we go to the country of Northern Ireland, uh, where we are situated now, we're not, you know, we're not in the top division. As you can see, we're in the intermediate league. Like, I feel like that's just like an insult. Yeah, we're, we're in the third. We're in the third tier there. But even the, yeah, you get your promotion to the top division. Uh, reputation is not even that much of an increase. But you would like to get there, that's for sure. But are we going to go that far? I don't even know because we might take, yeah, reaching our expectations, which once more, yeah, we were touching on that. Uh, that, yeah, just to avoid a relegation, keep the team up. Maybe you guys can leave your thoughts. Is because I, I personally don't see it. I don't see this as a team we're going to build up and achieve something with. I think that could probably take too long of, of a time. Uh, it's more so reaching what the board want from us, and then there's every chance we could move on at the end of the season. Just getting that yeah first job where we succeed and maybe get a little boost. Oh, it didn't even cross my mind yet. Start a coaching course. See, there's so much. So, yeah, for the C license, uh, get that uh, get that early on. But let me know how you guys would see it as well because I think it would be more longer than I would want to take with our first job with that really that lower, that minimum reputation club. That kind of reputation club I don't want to be spending something like four, for like four or five years at. I don't think, we, I don't think you need to as well uh, for your reputation to get – larger than that it shouldn't really uh, especially if you do well early on so uh, yeah that's my thoughts on how we're going to be going with Bambridge Town but we've got to see how the season progresses so because we are playing as a team in our division uh, that's why I thought it would be fitting to play the cup uh, if it was like against an even lower team uh, 
uh, yeah, we probably would have played that off camera and kicked off the league, but let's see how we perform here. Even though it might not have the highest expectations, it's still something about like you you want to do as well as you can and overachieve and that's hope I don't think because it's in my mind to say like yeah you can get trophies you can get cups put it in your cabinet in your cabinet put it on your resume but really don't know if we have the quality to go all the way but take it bit by bit and let's look at all these other cups there is as well so uh yeah we can't we're probably not going to go in runs in all of the cups, but what we're going to find is getting good experience uh, outside of just playing in the league. So let's get into our first match. So here we go to the tactical meeting. We don't have... Yeah, we I go in these games without without necessarily reviewing the team so much. Maybe you guys can let me know when you're playing maybe in an unfamiliar division. You can get your feedback. You keep your eyes on uh, some things like this. Uh, you take a look at the abilities. You can see five-star, an experienced player in Aaron Smith here. He's someone not, I feel like, his role is not someone you watch out for in terms of danger, but he's someone that could kind of prevent your dangerous players he's someone that could be a real stopping point uh, so you keep your eyes on him or your eyes on your attacking players but at the same time they've got a pretty solid player there uh, Ethan Warnock uh, is a bit different uh, as he's younger but uh, definitely he's got it like he's pretty well rated as you can see uh, but you could tell he's not as strong in his attributes not as experienced and yeah weaker as well so uh, even though we're not, yeah, we don't want to talk down on his ability too much. Uh, you can see from this side here, they're they're not too bad. They even got. The, I'm just clicking on this guy because I like looking at the young talents, to be honest. And outside of his strength, I've noticed this a lot. There's, um, I'm not sure it's within the Northern Ireland uh, uh, ratings of players, but there is a lot of poor physical players. I've just I've just noted noted that whether it be slow or they've got poor strength, but. Uh, could be just down to their overall abilities, but yeah, that all. Uh, yeah, of course, this was one of our players that was on like an amateur contract, so he wasn't on a wage. I would have had to, you know, offer him a contract uh, to want him to stay. I was kind of just hoping he wouldn't accept them. Uh, a little bit of potential, but yeah, nowhere near the first team. But yeah, let me know how you analyze generally clubs. You don't have that uh, off the top knowledge. Like, say if you're doing a Premier League team, save. You, you don't really analyze the opposition too much. You kind of, you go into the game knowing the players already. So you don't need to analyze them as much as yeah, we may have done there. So uh, we're just going to put ours on the bench there just so we have a full uh, full side to pick from. Uh, see, that shows you. We, we might need to take a look at some other amateur contracts because if you look at that, this is then they're not on a wage. We talked about how we can't afford to pay wages. That's been the issue, though. Players I've wanted to sign want a wage. They don't want the amateur amateur contract. And I'll say, look for youngsters. But someone like Rui Alves, he, he's twenty four, so it's it could be generally down to their current ability as well. Like, uh, look at McAver. He's like one of our better players. Look at this. He's not he's not getting paid none. So if if you if you guys have any tips to discover the guys you could sign on an amateur contract or you just gotta stick it out with the searching, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, but this is how we're gonna go into. I said we could train McCartan over on the right side, but for now, because yeah, look, McGarry's the only one. We don't have another right midfielder, so that could be an amateur contract we're looking for. And yeah, we talk about Look at that, he's got one strength. That's pretty poor to me. So uh, this uh, just to give a, a slow or short, to give a short description really of the system we'll be playing. It's just like a simple, like I've named it lower league, just standard 4-4-2. Uh, gone with the thought process of using defensive wingers, but then we'll be using the inverted wing backs as well uh, so they can get forward. And it just uh, will provide a pretty solid mix. And I haven't really used a setup like that in FM23 yet. So uh, just so we can be responsible. Uh, but then also so show some threat from our attacking fullbacks. So or wing backs the role. But uh, yeah, I, I really like the mix we've gone with and how it will hopefully reflect in game. Uh, that's something we're going to find out right now. It's kind of what we talked on already. 
uh, as well. Like here, we we don't we don't take too much off their names. Uh, see here, Lisburn Distillery. Uh, Barry Johnston, the manager. I yeah, I don't take a lot a lot out of these names. We yeah, head right into it. Uh, and also with the opposition instructions, we're going to ignore that for now. Uh, I've only tight marked the fullbacks uh, down to just down to the tactics as well uh, with how we're set up. So this is yeah, really our first competitive game. Home form always important. You know, early on. We, we don't have a lot. We got like the lowest attributes. Our motivating is not there. But uh, yeah, I, I like I set up. Uh, I touched on the first episode how you have a few players with the face packs. But as you can see, once more, we're not, where we took a look at that, like, like Smith and the other fullback, the younger uh, the younger lad uh, gave us a idea of yeah how they would really uh, be. And we're going to make a little change. As always, of your first game you play of a new of a new save. So we're gonna go on TV and we're just gonna mess around with this a little bit. So if we go, you go the minimum on the height and maximum on the zoom, and I actually quite I rate that pretty uh, pretty highly than the replay we do on TV as well. And yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be it. Ah, uh, and one step up, one step up on the match speed. Uh, some people might do it faster, slower. I don't know, but I find that a pretty good balance as we get into the match right now. So Edgar, McCartan, or oh, dangerous ball. Dangerous ball early. Okay, it's good to see. N nothing comes from that. And of course, I was like, oh, yeah, we got two goalkeepers on the bench. But I'm like, okay, well, you might as well fill. Well, the other th the other, ch you're not going to, you barely ever make subs. <laughs> yeah, but one thing we do have some, see, we could, if we don't find options, we can go to under 18s, a couple here. You got guys with potential. You got Adam Hamilton. You got a fullback there as well. So uh, he seems to have some pretty nice potential. So you got to keep your eyes on your youth. But uh, you got Tyler Gorman as well, who's a young striker. Uh, there's a few, yeah, a couple options there. But I wouldn't say they're first team ready. So yeah, we haven't, yeah, we haven't really looked at those guys yet in terms of coming into the first team. Got to be careful how we manage that. And yeah, I still think we have that idea of yeah looking for some amateur contracts, uh, which is quite you know uh, quite the familiar thing you would be seeing in this division. So it's something we've got to keep our eyes out for. Oh my God, did you see that? That was very very rare. Oh wow. That just came off. I think the post, the crossbar, it, 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 twice. Oh, I. Wow, that that was a moment. Uh, Chris Cohen uh, actually starting pretty pretty well there. We're just going to encourage. I like to do that at this point in the game where there hasn't been a goal yet. Generally, you are going to see, and yeah, as you can see here, you can see all the uh, happiness at the bottom. Uh, like you know, with this uh, style of this save, yeah, definitely going to try and build it up uh, with the story. No face cam in the way or anything like that, you know. So yeah, hope you hope you guys enjoy this story and how we're how we're getting it done early. And talking about getting it done early, I like yeah, I like what we're starting with here. We're we're not looking we're not looking too bad at all. Uh, Kevin Anderson, uh, he's starting to get a little bit tired early on. Uh, but we're not too far. We're not too far off a break. Always press here. Yeah, I'm staying off of that early. Uh, I would be one that sometimes would like to address the feedback given. But as I said, we've we've put in initial opposition instructions just on the fullbacks, uh, left back and right back, just a standard part of the tactic uh, to tight mark those positions. And you can see, oh, errors. Errors could come in at Warnock. One of the players we looked at and thought he might be okay. But McCaw, now it's Bennett. Looks dangerous. Oh, good block. You don't want to concede, but sometimes you feel like you do, and I hate that. You feel like you defended well, you get a foot to it, and sometimes that turns out being a bad thing for you. Just You could sense that I felt like we were going to concede from it. I'm like, no way. Like a block like that deflects to their, uh, to their player and... Yeah, it's fu funnily enough, you sometimes concede more from those than a direct, clean passing a chance, passing chance from the opposition. And yeah, they're annoying ones to take, to be honest. All right, dressing room. Um, oh, I actually, I didn't mind how we started, and then we conceded a fairly unlucky goal. That one, yeah, it was a bit tough to 
taken. I'm a, I'm a bit unsure in our approach here. Thrash Arms, you've been terrible. I don't think you guys have been terrible. But according to Football Manager, that's going to inspire and motivate them. So we're going to roll with that. <laughs> yeah, because I, th I don't think we've been terrible. But that's something like they can agree with. And I don't... <laughs> I just go with it uh, to try and motivate motivate my players. But really, from what we saw, I, d I don't think we really let ourselves down. Um, I don't think so. But we go out there and motivate the lads. And maybe we can push off uh, in the second half here uh, with the job. Maybe push on with the job. Here we go. Yeah, like, look at this. Look at McCartan. New sign here. He he might show he might actually be good. Uh, forget it, I showed you the comparison with that other region. I think the reaction is uh we missed out on the better player because I remember he was either footed as well. Uh but at the same time I think McCartan is going to be very handy. And yeah, I think we secured someone decent still. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Hunter. Love to see it. And, you know, yeah, we've got a few goalkeepers in the first-team squad. Uh, he's early on. And that's what I like early on without analyzing players' attributes so much. Of course, it's important to see you know, who's your better players in the team. But I honestly barely even look at our keeper yet. And I love to see I love to see in-game performances uh, where you can really see, like, a realistic point of view uh, if you were a real manager. Not necessarily judging off the numbers of the players, but that is... Oh, I thought that was going to be given as a penalty. Sometimes they can be, but uh, yeah, just like we look at Hunter, not too bad. Uh, pretty, like, yeah, not too bad, right? Yeah, he's pretty well, pretty well rated. You can go over to the comparison as well, and you can see why he would be starting. But uh, yeah, judging off that, he probably will have that position locked him, uh, locked in for himself uh, over the season. Though right now, right now, you can see we are, we are struggling, McCartan. He's, he get, I say he's getting involved. All you need to do there is register him, put him to take the corner. So don't take too much of that because it didn't really result too much. I've, I've, oh, yeah, I have not I have not thought we've been bad today at all. I think we've shown some pretty nice signs. And Hunter, uh, the man we've just been talking about, rolls out to Edgar and to their goalkeeper. His name is Carrie. Let's let's see what's going to come of this. Okay, we're going to build it up. No, we're not. We're going to lose possession. And we're going to win it back by Gallagher. Uh, this is probably going to go their way now. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I like, that was a very low... We forced them into a low percentage chance. That would have had to be a beautiful strike. So, again, we're not... Early on, we're not going to be applying the suggested, uh, the suggested feedback. And McCartan... Saying that he actually hasn't been great. Like he's six point. If you're going off rating, he's been pretty average. So, uh, what if we bring on Rui Alves here? And what if we go with a bit of a, a bit of a? See, we can switch up here. We can go. We can go attack on the wingers and McGarry. See, this is where he's gonna, just gonna have to play it out there. Uh, Liam McGarry sees that one star. That we're gonna leave his role. Just yeah, balance that a little bit. Uh, we bring Rui Alves on, who we clicked on before. So, yeah, he doesn't have too much of a defensive mindset, but I think it's it's about the role. Uh, we've changed it here now, but, yeah, the defensive wingers. Most of our wingers are not going to be preferred in the defensive winger uh, role, but, uh, as I said, to fit uh, really fit the system of the team. Adam Campbell, right, see, we, we need a bit more depth. Uh, we really do need a bit more depth in the team. And, yeah, Chris, like, I'm... We've got center mids on the bench. Uh, we've got a striker in uh, Darren uh, McGrath as well. He's a very lethal finisher by the looks of things. So uh, with playing McCavitt, it's McCavitt down, might bring off Downey just of that difference in ability. McGrath, it's just fresh legs. He's not rated as well, but uh, we're going to roll with that. We did have another winger in James Clark. He can only play that left mid as well. He's still pretty young, so uh, might not see a lot of him. Uh, we already made a left mid change. Maybe another shout. I'll stick to the encourage uh, once more. We know that should really yeah, bring some happier faces, motivate. And we might go attacking here. Uh, we've got to switch up. we go more more direct. 
be more expressive, try and get some early crosses in. Uh, uh, we're not going to make a, a whole host of changes here. Maybe just go a bit more wider. But I see. I don't. What we're going to take out of this game, I, I really don't think we've been poor. But there's every chance where we don't see a chance. But I think we've had enough opportunities to put one home. Alves. Come on, get the possession here. McGrath. Oh, see, that's what I mean. I think a few more weeks on the training pitch. Uh, obviously, we're not full-time as well, so there's not training, not training every single day. We've got those unavailable days. So I think we learn a bit from this in terms of what we need to work on. Uh, had a lot of wasted opportunities, but the opponents did as well. Look, 16 shots, only two on target. So, yeah, it's that quality talk. But I think we were pretty good. Uh, this is where I probably look at the... But maybe it's because we beat them in that in terms of passes completed. But uh, I think we can take some positives out of that game, even if we are knocked out of, of a cup here. I say a cup because we've got multiple cups uh, to play throughout the season. But from what we saw, I thought there were enough promising signs, but also there were some weaknesses to address as well. But uh, we, we seem to... I think control possession enough. And I don't even mean like in terms of having more of possession, but I mean, when we're on the ball, I think we look like we create opportunities. We can get into the box and uh, get into dangerous positions. So that's what I take out of this match today. And even how we review that, it's a loss. So once more, say a far from please, but, and even like, yeah, that's going to be a pretty good talk, but there were some guys with uh, good body language and good reactions before we even said anything. So I think, the, how they're coming out of this game, I think they they take they they were happy with their with their game, which uh, it coincides with the manager myself really just saying you were bad, so that's interesting and that fired them up. That's see, I don't necessarily agree with that, but we just uh, progress with yeah w what we are going to get a best reaction from the players and because uh, I don't necessarily thought uh, like we said earlier in the game yeah I don't think we were bad we showed signs but at the same time they might think they could have done better in terms of uh, taking chances and maybe creating better quality opportunities so uh, I liked what we showed there though I think we we looked confident in our play I like what we saw from our play and our shape I wasn't mad at that at all and would you believe it they rejected the coaching course Wow, we might have to leave that a little bit more. I'm not even going to discuss it at the board. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to test myself early. Uh, we might just wait it out and then ask for that at another time. Post match press conference. I generally like to prefer like. There's a few things I, I've said for uh, the assistant to take care of in terms of interacting with the media. So. Uh, yeah, we might take a look at a more star, like how our staff are rated and all that, but we're going to leave that uh, for now. If we were going to make any change, especially when we're struggling financially, I'm not going to try and yeah get rid of staff, especially if it's going to cost. If it's not going to, we can take a quick look at that as well uh, if we go into all. And uh, your assistant's pretty important. Someone like uh, Simon Nix, if you go to his contract, He's got a part-time contract, so yeah, he's he's gonna have to at least play that out. So there we go. Uh, we'll leave it. Uh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode today. Uh, like we ended up on the losing side, but I really normally I'm pretty critical uh, when we lose games, but. I felt I took some positives out of that. Uh, definitely not lo like losing a game is not a positive, but uh, I think it was more so out of I like how we were set up, like I said before, uh, in terms of the shape and the football we want to play. Uh, yeah, we just need to get more games in, especially the competitive games, uh, not just the friendly. So uh, we'll see how we kick off the season. Uh, of course, we'll play games off camera in these type of FM series style. Uh, but I hope you are enjoying it so far. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on your team and the players. Everything we mentioned, like I said, maybe uh, yeah, looking for some more amateur contract players uh, to sign up to the first team. That wouldn't cost the wage. So yeah, we'll see about that. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in the very next episode.